Hey guys, welcome to another episode of our Duotone Foiling Tech Talks. I'm Klaas and I'm standing here with Jerome Bonnier, our foil designer. Right now we want to talk about fuselages and the different options we have in the range. Um, there's different length, there's different systems. And uh, yeah, Jerome, maybe you could give us a bit of a run through of what we have, what's there and who should pick what. Sure. So we've got two different ranges of fuselages. We've got what we call the 3BS fuselage which have uh, this particular mount that fits on our carbon mass. And then we've got what we call our pocket fuselage, uh, which fits directly onto our aluminum mass. So each of these two lines come in different uh, length. For example, the 3BS uh, fuselages are available in a 60. Uh, so that's the shorter option for more reactive ride, you know, more maneuverability, wave riding, freestyle. Um, anyone that wants, yeah, an exciting uh, foil under their, their feet. Advanced riders. Advanced riders, exactly. Then we have the 66, which is kind of the middle length, kind of do it all. Um, I quite like it personally for surf foiling, downwinding, where I need a little bit more pitch stability. I think you're the same, you'll probably use this one. Yeah, I use this for, uh, actually the 60 I use for most days winging. Yeah. Um, and uh, the 66, as you say, downwind paddling, I want to have that bit more glide and stability and yeah. yeah there's a bit more room for error uh, where the 60 is quite nervous but yeah. uh, in the disciplines i'm not that good at i like to have the stability of the 66 for sure sure then we have an even longer one which is a 74 cm that's for um, beginners or people that want a really stable ride um, the difference with the 74 is also that the mounting of the front wing is two centimeters further forward which places your mast a little bit further back in the tracks and gives you, again, a little bit more pitch stability from, from that change. Mm -hmm. And uh, so, yeah, guys that are learning or into maybe racing and stuff, they might want to pick something a bit longer that's really locked in. Um, then our, oh yeah, we also have a 90, which is for the- That's this length here. Right? This length, yeah, in a, in a 3BS, and that's for the windsurf foilers. Then moving on to the pocket fuselages, we've got it in a 66, a 76, which actually has um, two options for the back wings. You can place your back wing all the way at the back for more stability or bring it uh, 4 cm further forward for a little bit more maneuverability. So once you like you start with a rear wing here, once you progress, you put it here and have exactly. a lively, it like brings you longer into your sport. Exactly. Um, and then we have that same uh, 90, Again, for windsurf foilers that might be using the aluminum mast, mm -hmm. uh, typically they'd be using that, uh, that fuselage. And um, since we've introduced our D-Lab front wings, our full carbon uh, setup, we have these uh, carbon tails uh, available in uh, 37 and 43 centimeters. So the 37 is the equivalent of your 60. Once you mount it onto the front wing, it's, it places the back wing where the 60 would, would have it. Mm -hmm. And the 43, as you can see, is the equivalent to the, the 66. So if I place that front wind mounting, you see how my screws, they match the, the 66. So if you've got uh, one of our D-Lab foils, uh, well, you can pick one or the other or have both to play around a little bit, uh, change the characteristics of your foil. And since the D-Labs are more for the advanced guys, there's no really long option. We don't Yet. have a, yeah, for now we don't have a longer option because yeah. uh, the cost, typically the customers picking the D-Lab are quite advanced and yeah. more into the 60 or 66. Yeah. Now I have one question um, because previously under Fnatic there was a carbon fuselage. A yeah. lot of people said, ah, Fnatic has a carbon fuselage, one of the only carbon fuselages and obviously pretty light. Yeah. Um, can you explain the reasons why Duotone offers uh, this fuselage now in Alloy? Yeah, sure. So actually we were trying to you know, we're always trying to reduce drag anywhere we can on our foil. And one of the areas where we could do it is uh, the fuselage, um, because the carbon one was relatively bulky. Uh, you know, you've got to fit inserts here and there, and uh, you need to keep certain thicknesses for, for the strength. And uh, when we tried to make it in aluminum and sort of match the strength of the, of the carbon fiber, we realized we could go quite a bit smaller in cross section which means we've got less drag coming from the fuselage. And once we, we did that change into a smaller cross-section and added the cut, cutouts and everything, in the end, you know, we are 
50 to 100 grams uh, heavier not, with not the even, aluminum. I believe, yeah, we're yeah. pretty close. Pretty close to the to the carbon. So in terms of weight, it's kind of the same thing. And uh, yeah, so we've decided to to do that. Mm -hmm. We gave our team riders a bunch of these when we first introduced them, and they never touched their carbon fuel sludges again. That was the <laughs> biggest sign for yeah. us. Now it says here disassemble and rinse after use. Um, between carbon and carbon, there's no corrosion. Um, something. Yeah, you might want to watch out a little bit. Yeah, you've got to be a bit more careful with the aluminum fuselage. You do want to sort of, yeah, as it says, disassemble and rinse it every now and then. Um, but yeah, we still have the sort of full carbon option. Uh, if you go into our D-Lab products, there you get the, the carbon tail. It's uh, slightly bigger in cross-section than this one, but then you, you gain a lot more on our D-Lab uh, on the front of the of the part here where you're much sleeker. So in the end, you still have a sort of lower drag, lower drag from our full carbon D-Lab. Uh, but let, let's, uh, I mean, we, we're coming much closer to that with these new aluminum. We're sort of coming closer to our D-Lab in terms of, of drag. All right, thanks a lot, Jerome. Cool. I hope you guys are informed now of what you want to pick and what you should pick uh, for your style of riding, for your level of riding. And yeah, give us a like and subscribe if you want to see more of that content, uh, we're producing more for every single foil um, we're offering. And uh, yeah, see you in the next one.